Epistle Dedicatory To my most honored friend, Mr. Francis Godolphin of Godolphin. Honored Sir, Your most worthy brother, Mr. Sidney Godolphin, when he lived, was pleased to think my studies something, and otherwise to oblige me, as you know, with real testimonies of his good opinion, great in themselves, and the greater for the worthiness of his person. For there is not any virtue that disposeth a man, either to the service of God, or to the service of his country, to civil society, or private friendship, that did not manifestly appear in his conversation, not as acquired by necessity, or affected upon occasion, but inherent and shining in a generous constitution of his nature. Therefore, in honor and gratitude to him, and with devotion to yourself, I humbly dedicate unto you this my discourse of commonwealth. I know not how the world will receive it, nor how it may reflect on those that shall seem to favor it. For in a way, beset with those that contend, on one side for too great liberty, and on the other side for too much authority, tis hard to pass between the points of both unwounded. But yet, methinks, the endeavor to advance the civil power should not be by the civil power condemned, nor private men, by reprehending it, declare they think that power too great. Besides, I speak not of the men, but, in the abstract, of the seat of power, like to those simple and unpartial creatures in the Roman capital, that with their noise defended those within it, not because they were they, but there. Offending none, I think, but those without, or such within, if there be any such, as favor them. That which perhaps may most offend are certain texts of Holy Scripture, alleged by me to other purpose than ordinarily they used to be by others. But I have done it with due submission, and also, in order to my subject, necessarily, for they are the outworks of the enemy, from whence they impugn the civil power. If, notwithstanding this, you find my labor generally decried, you may be pleased to excuse yourself, and say, I am a man that love my own opinions, and I think all true I say, that I honored your brother, and honor you, and have presumed on that, to assume the title, without your knowledge, of being, as I am, sir, your most humble and most obedient servant, Thomas Hobbes, Paris. April 15th slash 25th, 1651.